High Charity, the spacefaring capital city of the Covenant. 464 kilometers long, 348 kilometers wide. It's basically a planetoid. It's powered by the reactor of a massive forerunner dreadnought parked in the center, and it houses the command center of the prophets and the leadership of the Covenant government. It can't destroy planets, but it is large and important enough to the Covenant Empire that it houses its own massive personal defense fleet, which consists of hundreds of battleships, carriers and cruisers, some of the biggest fleets seen in the Halo universe, a massive armada including the second fleet of homogeneous clarity and the fleet of particular justice. High Charity even housed an artificial star to provide heat and light for all of its citizens. The Mantle's Approach, another one from Halo. This ship is farcically big. It's 142 kilometers long and 371 kilometers high. That's longer than the distance between London and Paris. The ship is so big, in fact, that a thin atmosphere naturally forms on its outer hull. Uh, the ship is held together by forerunner hard light bonds, and it's presumably these that failed once the Master Chief de detonated a Havoc nuke inside the ship. Uh, although I don't know what the UNSC did to deal with the city-sized chunks of spaceship that they now have floating around their planet. The ship is clearly just as tough as you'd expect, too. At one point we see the UNSC Infinity, easily the most powerful ship the humans have in Halo, fire its massive enhanced forerunner mat guns at the surface of this ship, and they do just enough damage to create a tiny little hole for the Master Chief to fly his broadsword through. Vija, now for a fairly sizable jump from the previous two, this ship, if we include the energy cloud projected by it, is two astronomical units in diameter. Now for those of you that don't know what an astronomical unit is, it's basically the radius of the Earth's orbit around the Sun, making this ship the size of the diameter of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. So it's absolutely Goliath. Spock also says during the film that the ship is generating a force field greater than the radiation of the Earth's Sun, which is, again, insane. But Vija started out as the human-built Voyager 6 probe, and we know that it's most of the engineering that went into building this massive ship was done by some kind of mysterious mechanical race. A lot of the novels and some fan fiction claim this to be the Borg. I personally prefer the Star Trek Destiny novel's explanation for the origins of the Borg. Those are very good books. But still, whatever race did this has to be incredibly powerful. It's also made very clear during the film that Vija could, at any time, effortlessly destroy the Earth. To put the kind of massive scope of this ship into perspective, there's a wonderful piece of dialogue in the film where Uhura says it could hold a crew of tens of thousands, to which McCoy replies, or a crew of a thousand, ten miles tall. If you'd like me to look into these ships in any more detail, please do request them below and I will try to fit in a full Space Dock episode for each one of them. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.